What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today my cousin decided to chop his hair off, so stay tuned and see if it was worth it. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below what you think I'm about to give him. All right, so this is how my client looks before. This is how my cousin looking. We're gonna chop off his wavy, curly hair. <laughs> I'm just messing with him right now. Doing a little water prank on him. He was, look at him, he's zoned out. He's not even, <laughs> he didn't even notice I was doing that. But right now we're gonna get the hair nice and saturated. So what we're gonna do now is section off that front fringe and pull that all down because he wanted like a buzz cut look. But I told him I don't wanna buzz it to a clipper. I wanna give him a little texture and give him some movement but still give that buzz cut look. So what we did was, like I said, pull that section down, cut it nice and tight to his hairline. And after that, what we're gonna do is create two sections on the top of his head, creating a vertical section. And we're gonna take that and pull that up and then cut the short hair and go a little bit longer as we go back, as I'm demonstrating right there, just to give him that buzz cut look, but still have some texture. And now we're just going horizontal sections and connecting it, seeing where our guide is and then chopping the hair. Right here, I'm just connecting the sides to the shorter hair on, on the sides because we're gonna come back later with our clippers and I want that to blend in nice and easy. And as you can see how my hands were placed on his head. But right now we're gonna go ahead and dry his hair. As you can see, there was some texture going there. Now I got my number four guard and I'm flicking up and off of his head just so it blends into, like I said, that scissor work that we just did. And I am using my Stylecraft Rebel clippers right here. If you are curious, uh, links for everything will be down below. After that, I'm just doing some scissor over comb to blend in to get a nice even blend and to remove some weight and make sure that you know you have a nice soft blend. Next, what we're gonna go ahead and do is round out his back. I just typically like doing this on his haircut. Um, he used to get some pimples on the back of his neck, so I started leaving those hairs a little bit longer just to uh, prevent showing any of those. So what I'm doing is rounding off the back, giving it kind of like a, uh, a burst fade look or like a, not a mullet cause it's not long, but like, you know, a burst uh, fade look. And I, I think it looks dope on him. And now what I'm gonna do is kind of do a burst high taper and just blow that out. And I am also using my gamma trimmer right here. This one was the hitter. We're gonna go ahead and bald him out. And what you do to one side, you go ahead and do to the other side. Now we have our lever all the way open with no guard and we're creating about an inch width. So next, we're gonna go ahead and take our number three guard and we're gonna repeat the same steps going up and off his head into that four guard that we did. And make sure you're feeding the teeth into where you're cutting. So next, take your two guard and go up. So don't look at the top of the guard, look where the teeth are actually at and where you're cutting. So that's how you kind of adjust. Sometimes people think like where the guard's hitting is what's cutting, but it's actually where the teeth are at. So pay attention to that when you're flicking out. And after the two guard, go and take your number one guard with the blade open, repeat the same steps. And then we're gonna slowly close that down until it's fully closed and then we'll move on to the next guard, which will be the zero guard and repeat the same steps. Right here, this is just all detail work. I'm using my scissor over comb, use the white side first to get the bulk out, went back to the fine side. Now I'm just doing detail work. Details work is what really makes that fade pop. And it's all about just getting that ball line out. So that's what, when you do the detail, you wanna make sure you're getting that ball line out nice and smooth and making sure that it goes from light to dark very seamlessly as well. So that's why I like to do the scissor over comb. 
So next right here for his lineup, I'm just gonna do scissor over comb again. And what this is doing is just taking off some weight that I might, might have missed with this while I was doing my scissor work earlier. And it's gonna help me when I come back with my trimmers to be a lot easier and they don't have to work too hard and I'm gonna get a nice crispy line because there's not extra weight or hair hanging over. If you guys do like the content that you are seeing, uh, make sure to also follow me on Instagram, JJ Beard Barber. I do post similar content like this, but a lot more shorter and entertaining. So if you do like that, go ahead and do that. But next, we're gonna move on to his beard. I have the number one guard on here, completely closed. So we're doing a number one on his beard. He likes his beard nice and short. And we're just gonna do that first. Now when it comes to fading his beard, it's going to be the same thing. The first guideline will be the blade completely open. And then we're going to slowly close down to remove that. And the next, since it was a number one guard on the beard, um, if you need to, you can grab that number zero guard and then blend the rest out. Now moving on to my favorite part of the whole haircut is the beard lineup. I'm right here using my Turkish razor, having him blow a bubble, using my other thumb to stretch the skin, keep that blade about 45 degree angle, and then work my way back straight so when I let go I'm going to have a nice curve to it. This part is not needed, this is extra. I'm using the Joseph Signature Line Beard Pencil Filler. And what I'm doing is just enhancing his beard, taking it to that next level. You don't need that, but if clients do like it. It is another way to, you know, a little upcharge your services and just to help with those little perfections because not everybody's beard is perfect. Everyone has some light spots in there. So it just helps them feel a little bit more confident and their beard do pop a lot. And yes, later on when he just washes his face off or just shower, it is only water resistant, so it will fade out. But, you know, if you purchase one, you could use them on the daily. I usually use them on the daily just to fill in little imperfections. I don't get it nice and sharp, but it just adds a little bit of density to your beard. Now we're just gonna go ahead and line up the bottom of his beard, keeping it right below his jawline and keeping it nice and full. Lastly, we're gonna add some volumizing powder. So this is why I went with the scissor cut on top to give him that buzz cut look like I said, but now he could add that texture and it's not gonna look like a buzz cut. I really like this look. I think it looks dope on him. He really enjoyed it. He liked it a lot. So let me know what you think YouTube. Do you think he looked better before or does he look better now after with his fresh cut? Let me know, comment down below. And that's another way to do a buzz cut look. But thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and comment down below again. Thank you guys so much. See you guys on the next one. Peace.